Hey everyone, my name is Joe. My call is Victor Echo 1 Bravo Whiskey Victor. What we're looking at this evening is a uh, another UBIDX, one that I got in a little while ago and decided to put it into this case and try something a little different. Uh, this one here I'm using the um, KD8 CEC software, version 1.073. has lots of features and I put in the blue display uh, IC2 display basically with the four lines and we're going to give the volume control, RF gain and six buttons here uh, for your band up, band down for your uh, upper sideband, lower sideband SDR mode and um, I can't remember what this one is but we'll try it in a minute and then let's just push the talk on and off the VFO and the VFO if you push it uh, brings it into the menu mode so you can go through all the features that uh, you know that has there so I'll just put that back and um, bring it back to normal and we'll have a quick look here to see what's on here on 80 let's see what's happening here 37 just dialing through here Just heard so much. Uh, Very nice clean audio. I'll just turn it down for a sec here. We'll have a look inside. Again, this is um, from an old um, retrofitted Bearcat. I think it was a Radio Shack scanner type radio, which wasn't working. And um, so I just. Uh, retrofitted the case here and what you can see right now is basically the front end here I've tried to keep the display and those controls isolated with a metal plate here for some shielding there you have the UBIT X the left hand here is some hash filters uh, 4700 microfarad uh, 8 you know 2 to 10 ohms in series and uh, with another filter on the other end uh, upgraded heat sinks so you can run FT8 until you're tired of it basically and, and it uh, stays nice and cool. I've also added uh, uh, a R, well it's an RTL uh, dongle but this one here has an up converter built into it so I happen to have it kicking around and um, uh, this gives me full SDR capability as long, uh, along with the, uh, the regular radio. The radio has full cat cape control and you can see it feeding back in here to the computer so let's have just a look up above here. Right now we're in the regular mode. And as you can see here, it's just speaker. If I hit this right now, um, the audio that will come through next would be um, for the uh, SDR. So that's the SDR right now. And then we turn it down here a bit. Now this is the SDR radio program and I'm running the dongle that I just showed you uh, connected to the rig here so it's under full control. Um, right here is the sync so that's 3827, that's 3827 and if you were to look down here quickly you'll see that that's a 3827. If I, if I um, tune the VFO I'll just bring it up real nice and slow here hopefully you don't get too dizzy and you'll see me moving it 5, 3, 2, 1, etc. So you have control there. Or if I use the mouse, I can also um, dial up with the mouse back and forth here. Probably hard to see the little mouse, but there it is. So I can dial it with the mouse or do it from the VFO. You're seeing the IF here. And then you're seeing right now uh, 3700 and uh, a little bit of activity here. And I see these are 3825. In fact, they're both on 3825 right now. Um, let me see, I'll pick one at 36. There we go. I'll turn the audio up for a second. Yeah, 
turn it up here a little bit. So that's one receiver, the FOA. Now there's the audit from the other. It's a great program, it works very well with the, uh, the UBIT-X. So now you can have full SDR and let me turn the audio down here a bit. The difference is the SDR that's built in, normally it's a, uh, I'll look here, I'm sure there's a wire you have to add. A little hard to see in here, but there's a little wire here, it just hooks on. And then you hook your dongle to the outside. So you don't have to use the up converter, you can just use a $10 dongle. But the difference is with a dongle, um, when you look at this band pass, you'll see a bell curve. So you don't see a nice flat, wide area. And so I happen to have a, a dongle, uh, a few of them actually from other projects, and an up converter. And as you can see right now, by looking with the up converter, you see a nice even gain across the whole band. You can listen to the single audio. Um, I'll move it over here. That's the SDR audio. I can put it on both. We hear both audio. You see they are different. I'll switch over. So there's both of them. SDR. If, if I see anybody wearing a and the bed X. Let me turn this down here a bit here. Get a little too loud. So anyway, that gives you an idea. There's the uh, the frequency it's on. That's the IF, and this is the SDR. And you can run as many receivers as you can uh, fit on your screen. So we could go to another band here. Uh, either by just going here by using the mouse, which is what I'm using right now. Go to 40, and just look to see what's there. Uh, get down there a little bit. I see some strong. Okay, there's one right there. So I'll turn it up here. And I'll just tune it with this. So that's 40, and that's the actual frequency you're listening to right now, which is also displayed up here. I could slick, I could go right over to. So now back on 80 meters, that's this one here. And I'm just going to flick back over here to 40. Anyway, turn this down here. Turn this back down. So that gives you an idea what it can be done with the dongle and the SDR mode and all that sort of stuff. Let me turn this off and just bring up the, um, turn that off, I don't need it. Bring up the uh, digital mode one, WSJTX. Uh, there it is right there. And I'll bring it right to 40 meters. And I'll put that on the upper side band so you can hear the digital modes. I'll put that in the background so we don't have to listen to it, but you'll just see in a second here. It's uh, listening right now. Okay, we just caught one at the very end there, but there should be a bunch more. Oops, it's red there, a little too high. Take that signal down. Waiting for another read pass to go by. There she comes. So you can see the station's coming across. Receives very well. No issues whatsoever. The biggest thing is that you might find if you don't, if you put things up and you don't really get um, a lot of signals on the display and yet you can hear them, really look at this, uh, this time function. If they're not on, uh, you won't get it. So you, most people run uh, a program called Dimension 4. And that just allows you to do syncing and automatic syncing so that the timing between all the other stations and yourself are um, within, you know, one second or, uh, sorry, 0.1 second or 0.2 seconds there. And that'll make a huge difference on what you can receive. So 
there they go and, and if I was looking to uh, to chat with one of those I would just double click and should get a response back and all that sort of stuff I won't hold it for that so that's how easy it is again it's um, fully controlled so I can go to um, you know the, the um, 80 meter band turn that down a bit and you can see by looking down here the radio has also gone to that same frequency and that's because of the uh, uh, the cat control and quick look here at the settings nothing unusual if I go to radio um, that's the actual settings there I just use the COM3 it, it'll vary on your rig but you set it to F FT817 your push to talk is done by uh, cat control and uh, there's your other settings and that's it and once that's done you'll have full control of your rig uh, and onto the computer and you can do that with quite a few other programs that have the uh, uh, FT817 uh, CAT control inside. So that's it. A quick overview. 7.3. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed the uh, quick preview and some of the features um, that uh, are offered uh, on this particular software. And the software again is by KD8CEC, uh, Ian Lee. And... Uh, you see I'm pushing the buttons here and you can see me cycling through to the various bands and um, if I use um, this one this is the upper lower side band etc and this is the SDR button and you can go to VFOA and VFOB the good thing about these is that these are all programmable by a little piece of software that uh, Ian has developed as well so you can just tell in the software what you want these things to do. You don't have to rewire them. You just tell the program and then save it again, and uh, it will uh, now have the, uh, the various different functions. Anyway, that's it. You have a good evening here. It's uh, uh, just a little after midnight. 7-3s, V1BWV clear.